Hi guys, Frostfang here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video, not on the PTS, we're actually on live, like I said in the past couple videos, scheduling is going to be a little bit weird, so this might be coming out after some of the PTS videos have come out, I, I don't really know, scheduling is just going to be a little bit all over the place for like the next week or two, because I've got family over and stuff, and then the PTS is coming out as well, but today, today we're going to be playing some Shaolin, even if scheduling is a mess, Shaolin is actually being changed in the next patch, so none of that should really affect him, and I kind of want this video to be kind of similar to the Atlas one, but also different because I don't want it to go in the exact same direction. We've got three different loadouts for him. I might actually end up doing a game with each depending on how I feel. But before we do get into the video, Discord has actually sponsored today's video for me to quickly let you know about Discord Nitro. You probably heard me talking about it before, but Nitro is a $9.99 subscription that gives you access to Discord chat perks as well as a ton of monthly game perks like the Paladins one, which is the one I'm going to be talking to you about quickly here. Nitro users get diamond chests as well as large gifts every month this month, just like last month, you'll get two of each and then more in the future. You can of course go to the official Paladins Discord server where there's a gift exchange channel if you don't have anybody you want to trade with. So if you do decide to check it out there'll be a link right at the top of the description and if you do go ahead and decide to sign up it's pretty easy to claim. You just connect your Hyra's account and then depending on whether you're on Steam or Discord it's a little bit different. If you're on Steam you literally just launch Paladins, check your Discord, there'll be like a thing right at the top to claim your reward. And if you are playing it through Discord you can just go straight to the in-game store and it should be under the DLC tab. So yeah thank you Discord for helping feed my two pet seals. Let's get back on to the shot in video. I can actually start off with a siege match. It's been a while since I've queued for just siege, but I know you guys have been wanting some siege on the channel. I haven't been playing that much of it recently, and I actually kind of feel like doing a siege match. Shaolin does pretty much the same anyway you put him. Saris just said that she's going for damage in the chat. That's something I'm not really used to, but we do have a Damba also locked in there. That should be fine. Shaolin and Damba actually combo quite well together because of Damba's speed buff. I can safely say it's been a little while since I played Shaolin, let alone make a video on him, but I do have three different loads which I'll show off. I don't know if I'm going to do two or three games, but they're all kind of similar, just have a few little cards change. Shout outs to, I have no idea how to say that name, but I recognize it. I think I played with him before. Just trying out, by the way, don't at me. Yo, what's up, Frosty? OMG, love your vid. Shout outs to HarvXY. I don't know how to say these names. And also, I'm going to just go with Borka23592. Shout outs to the two of them. I'm bad with names. We are going up against the Grandmaster Strix. What a great bloody start to the video. Sure, we're also up against a Ying, a Lian, a Drogos, and a Barak. So I guess given the team comp here, I reckon Desert Shadow or Explosive Arrows might actually be a good choice. I don't know how reliable the stun will be on this map, so I might actually just go for, for this, and then we'll go for this version of the loadout, but the F could also be really good, because it could help us get a flank or two on the streaks. We'll go for we'll go for quick sound. So this is the one with the Impaler Arrow buffed, this is the one with Poise, and this is the one with Mirage. They're all very similar. They all have the movement speed, cooldown reset, and then reset on the F, and also base health. I think I actually did a really good job of explaining that there. Should we start off with Court? I guess we start off with Court, right? Actually going to start out with Illuminate, because we don't have a flank, and I reckon it might be my job to get rid of the streak. So we'll start off with Illuminate and then we'll see how it goes from there. I'm just hoping he's not going to be doing that the entire game, which it seems like he might be. Just doing a little head glitch thing. There's 1.3k. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a really quick kill. I also just hit you for a K. I'm just going to shoot that over there. I missed it. Okay, you're going to just sit there and do that, huh? Can I get a shot? We do have the double tank, so I can play a little bit more aggressively. Jesus Christ, that 1300 hits hard. Why is my accuracy good on Shaolin? I haven't played Shaolin in like a month plus. Why am I actually doing okay with him? I say as I die to a Strix who I didn't see. Let me get more Illuminate. I just don't want to deal with this Strix. You ever have those days where you just don't want to deal with Strix? Today is one of those days for me. I just want to play some Shaolin, have some fun. And for some reason, I thought Siege would be the best mode to actually do that in. That didn't deal any damage. That didn't deal any damage, Strix. I see you just there, but I don't know if I want to try and fight you. There's a K. There's like a little bit over a K, and he's out. I don't have any of my stuff up. There we go. There's a little bit of damage for you as well. I'm just trying to not get killed by Strix because that would suck. He missed his shot, but he did hit the flare. That's Leanne going for the ult. Nice. I'm going to hit you with a K or try to. We're getting the right click up a ton here. I'm actually using the explosive arrows kind of well. We'll use the F and push up a tad. There's a K. Can we get another shot on somebody? There we go. Strix is actually kind of low. There's a K for you as well. Do I ult here? Do I ult here? I actually just hit E. Did that go on cooldown? No. Okay, thank God. I did hit E there and I died like the second after I hit it and luckily it didn't like actually receive the input properly it seems. Ceres is ulting. I don't know if she got a pull. Overtime is just getting completely spammed. I think we might get it. Maybe we've got two tanks still up. I'm gonna run in and hit E and see what we can do. Gonna just hit E here and then see we can push up. There's some damage for you. Where's this Drogo's gone? I don't know, but there's Barak out. So also get rid of Strix. I'm blind. I hit the explosion. I have no idea where he is, though. There is a K for you. Hello, Drogo's. I'm trying to load the right click up so I can get an insta kill. That didn't work, but he is out. Why am I playing well on Shaolin? What's going on? There's 1.3k for you, Strix. Illuminate coming through clutch. Hello, Leanne. There's a K for you. There's the explosion, which didn't really work how I wanted it to. I don't know why I'm suddenly playing well on Shaolin. I'm kind of concentrating a little bit. Get bodied there, Strix. Jesus Christ. Well, 
timed. Now, I doubt there is an explosion for you in a planted. I very rarely go into planted, but that kind of worked a little bit. I don't know why I thought that was the Leanne. Load up the right click. There's a freaking nothing because I hit your decoy. There's a K. Nice. Can I get another one? Nice. I just landed 2K in a row and got rid of that freaking Drogo. Sick. Thank you, Barak, for helping finish him off. There's a hit. There's a hit. Nice. One more. Another one. Sick. I'm just kind of throwing in 1Ks into this freaking Barak. Oh, Leanne, you're a pain. Leanne, you're a pain. Can you go away? I'm going to ult. I'm just going to go for it. See if we can maybe survive here. I'm just worried because every time I fire, I get de invised It's such a weird ultimate. Hello, Drogos. That didn't hit. I'm going to get freaking blattered here. There's a hit for you. There's the F. Oh, I'm still gone. I think I need to get some quarter eyes going here. We've got Illuminate. So I'm kind of dealing with the Strix, but I do think I need to get some Court and maybe some Haven. I think Haven might be a good choice. I'm actually kind of doing okay on Shaolin. I'm actually really enjoying it too. That's the more important thing. For me, Ceres just actually fired out the ult. It's kind of a shame that that counted. There's nothing, although I did actually hit the Barrack. I thought I hit a decoy. Never mind there. It's 600. Leanne is there trying to pull off a play. Why did that disengage by right click? Wait, I tapped it three times. I tapped it once to engage it. I tapped it another time to disengage it. And I tried to bring it back up again. And for some reason, but for some reason, it didn't actually trigger the input. That was weird. I would have actually killed that Leanne. Yeah, I'm not even like bullshitting you at all. I genuinely triggered the input. And it just didn't give me it. Oh, come on. I actually hit the shield. Oh, straight into the planted. Oh, that was the most fluid kill I've had with Shaolin in ages. There's 13 Hundo. There is another K. He's very close to gone. There's a K. Why am I shredding right now? Why am I playing well on Shaolin? It's been so long. I accidentally just bodied a Strix. There's a hit right into planted. He's gone. Nice. Can we also get rid of her? I dealt 1600 pretty quick. There is nothing. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Maybe not. No, he's gone. Sick. Okay. One, one, five minutes. I'm playing way better with Shaolin. And I was expecting to, and I'm really enjoying it. It's because I'm not really focusing, I'm not stressing myself out. I'm just enjoying playing Shaolin. It's really, really good. It's really, really nice having explosive arrows because I don't think I'd really be getting many stuns, but that with that bonus 300's coming through quite clutch and helping me get a couple kills. Am I gonna run left? I'm just gonna wait here and see what the Strix does. Okay, he's choosing to sit back there like he did last round. I see how that's totally fun to play. Should we go for the all play? Let's go for the aggressive all play. His shield's down, so I think we might be able to push up on him here and get rid of him. There's another K. There's a K for Ying. Oh, there's the decoy gone. Oh, she's nearly out. She's really, really low. Oh, I missed that. No, I missed the hit on the Leanne. That ruined my entire thing. I was trying to do that. I thought I was going to be able to knock her off of the platform and give myself a second to like adjust to the situation, but I didn't hit the goddamn Leanne. I don't know why I'm having trouble hitting Leanne. I can land my stuff on everybody else without an issue. It's just Leanne that I'm kind of missing all the time. Let's get rid of you. Never mind. I missed that. I did deal 300 damage. Oh, I hit that Strix as well. Nice. There is hit for Leanne. Never mind. There's a hit for Leanne. Never mind. Am I going to land anything on you today? Finally, landed one. Oh, yes, you went in. Fantastic. I knew I had enough health. If I landed that shot, you'd be gone. Or she'd have low enough health, I mean. I actually said that sentence completely wrong. That is Damba ulting. Thank you for the free kill on Barak. Get a hit on him. Oh, he's invis, but I think I can kill her instead. Nice, I'll take that. We can also get rid of this Strix. He's out. Nice, Drogo's trying to fly over. Oh, I hit him as well. I hit him and it didn't kill him. No, I'm going to finish him here with a limp dick arrow. Never mind. Fully charged arrow. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, okay. I'm glad they're changing that in the next patch because that felt really crappy. I was absolutely shredding there and the Leon literally just hit E and there was nothing I could do. I appreciate the wrecked spray. You get points for that. We did cap the objective, so I appreciate the wrecked spray, but I also appreciate the fact that that is getting nerfed because it kind of just feels like an I win button. I said that in previous videos. And it's literally the same sentence they used on the patch notes. Show, use that invis to dodge it. There's nothing for you. Oh, Strix, you want to do another jump? There's 1300. Nice. I'm not going to run left because I feel like they're expecting me to run left. I think somebody is just here. Yeah, it's you. There's 1300. Oh, oh, the ultimate. I'm going to just body it this time because I've got a little tree I can behind behind. Nice. Who are we going on? Okay, nothing, I guess. I guess I'll just run away. I hit him for a K and then I died to goddamn. Uh, freaking Drogos. I feel like I'm actually doing okay. I reckon once we finish quarter eyes, I'll have a little bit of an easier time. There's a hit for you, Drogos. Is that going to kill him? Am I actually going to knock him off the map? Or maybe not. I think he's still on. If I just knock the Drogos off the map, I'd be so proud of myself. Let's go for the ult. Is running left a good idea? I feel like they're expecting me. There's 13 Hundo. There's a kill on Strix. Nice. Oh, that missed. I don't know what to do here. There's 1300 down the road. There's a K to get rid of the decoy. There's another decoy gone. Can I finish off the Ying? She's really low over there. Can I maybe land a little shot on her? Oh, I missed it by such a small amount. There's the F. Let's see if we can maybe get rid of these guys. There's a hit. Go into the planted. Finish them off. Maybe. Seemingly making a pretty good effort on this push. I'm just fully keeping the shot wound up. That missed by again like a little inch. Don't know what the plan is. I guess I need to deal with the Strix over there. There's a K for him. He just threw that blind. It felt like that took forever to travel. I'm just kind of waiting and we'll F around a little bit. There is that. We'll get into the plant and get some more shots down range. He's very, very low. He went into the damn battle. Nice. Oh, we're totally not going to win this push. Drogos is going for that Fernando. I'm the only person alive. Okay, we're screwed. I was doing okay, but once I realized the entire team was dead, I kind of knew that that was just going to be a ruined play. We could have had that. Could have had that. I wonder why it went so downhill. I think we maybe pushed up a little bit too much. I just got flung on my mount. That happened last time I played this map with Ying. Damaging, I think that happened with as well. Not really sure what items I should go for. We have got four max courts, which is really, really nice. They have two court twos, a court three, and another court two, and then they have a decent amount of record to deal with Barak and Nando. It looks like it's going to be a 
decently long siege game. I don't know what to do with the Strix up there. I tried to time it and I bloody did. I just hit him with 1300. Nice. Okay, let's get a hit on Barak. Never mind, let's not get a hit on Barak. Let's maybe focus somebody else. His shield's in the way. There's a 1300 for you. Don't know what Ceres is doing, ulting over there. I'm kind of confused with her play choices so far. Can we hit Strix for 1300? Oh, we can. Wait, why did that only deal a thousand? Excuse me, why did I not get damage from my right click there? I would like a recount, very much so. There's 300 for you. I am totally dead. I just hit that. I don't know how the hell I just hit that, but I, I hit it. Uh, she's just here. Let's hit her for nothing because she dashed. Wasn't expecting that. And I'm dead because I'm in between Ileana and the Strix. Fair enough. Bad placement from me. I still have absolutely no clue, though, how I hit that Strix with a loaded right click and it just didn't deal the damage. For some reason, I only dealt 1,000 instead of the 1,300. I'm going to go for an ult play. Sure, see if we can maybe get a play here. Oh, Leanne, you're such a pain. For some reason, she's the person giving me issues here. There's like 1,300 to maybe get rid of her. There's 1,200 on you. I did buy a little bit of Wrecker since the last cut. I think there's... Second 1,300, there's a 1,000, there's nothing. Oh, no, it actually landed. Okay, nice. Are you pushing up? What's the play? There's 1,300. Oh, he's solo. Somebody just tickle that barrack and he's out. Let's go into the queue. Maybe we can finish him off with the planted. Apparently not. Leanne is over there. I should be paying more attention to her, but there's so much I need to do this game that I'm not really sure where I should be going. I kind of need to deal with the Strix because we don't have anybody else who's going to do it. We have a Ceres, a Damba, and two tanks. No one's going to get rid of Strix, but Leanne is also a big issue. Ying is also a big issue. They're also not getting rid of the tank or Drogo. So this is really, really tough because I don't know who I should be really going after. Let's load up a right click. There's a freaking bunch of damage. There's another one. We'll go ahead and do a little dash. Hit him with a K. Nice. Load it up again. Hit him with a little bit of damage. Is she running right? Where's she going? We're not going to be able to get the objective, but that's fine. For some reason, Leanne is the person giving me trouble. But there's 1,300, and she's dead. Nice. Finally got a kill on her. I reckon I'm going to have a pretty good start because I've been playing pretty well, but this has been a really, really quite tense game for Shaolin, which is not what I was expecting. I keep getting their Barak and our Barak mixed up. That missed, which is a shame. Can I hit a 300? Oh, one 1,300, I mean. Let's just go and plant it. I just hit him with a K. Maybe we can get another hit on him. No. Okay, Leanne is running left. Oh, you're going to try and do the same tactic as Strix. There's 1,300 for you. I might die. I should not be playing ballsy. That is Ying ulting. I think there's a bunch of damage. She ulted. That didn't deal damage, which is a shame. There's a K. There's a K. One more K. No. Okay, no. We actually did land that. That did kill him. Nice. There's 1,000 for you as well. Oh, I was just about to use the F and go in a little bit harder, but I died before I could pull it off. Okay, what are we getting more of? Let's get more Haven. That's a good idea. Not really sure where I should place myself. That's the kind of problem I'm having now. There's a K. There is 300. There is another K. There is nothing, but we did get rid of a turret. There's 900. Let's even get rid of this Leanne. Is she still here? Thank you for the speed buff, Dan, but I appreciate... Oh, this is messy. This is messy. Don't like this. Don't like this. Going to plant it? There we go. Nice. She's gone and then I died to Drogo. Did he ult me or was that just him hitting me with a rocket at like point blank range? Oh, he just hit me with a rocket point blank range. Okay. Drogo's ult is nearly always silent, so I never know. <laughs> we do apparently have a Ceres who's going for damage, but I haven't really noticed it very much. There's 1,300. Oh, Strix is totally going to kill me. Strix is totally going to kill me. He went invis and I don't know where he is. Never mind, he missed. Oh, there's a bit of damage for you. That hit a tree. Oh, I'm on freaking low health. We're going to dash back a little bit and reposition. We'll go for the ult. I might need it for next round, but I also kind of need to defend this one and Ying ulted, so there's a K. There's nothing. Oh, no, that did land. There's 1,300. Hello, Strix going to go into planted. That did not work. There's a K for you. Nice, he's gone. We'll F back, see if we can get rid of Ying. Okay, she's totally gone, right? Is she going to blink? Where's she going? She's over there. Hit her. There we go. Actually killed the Ying. That's really, really cheesy, but I'll take the, the slow-mo Shaolin kill. I maybe shouldn't have used my ult there, but it did help me a little bit, and we will probably gen it during the next round. Everybody else does have it, though, if we look at the top left. This is quite strange, because I was kind of planning on doing three matches and showing off the three play styles, but I've really just enjoyed Explosive Arrows Shaolin. I don't know if I want to do more stuff. Should we place ourselves somewhere here and be a little bit more aggressive this time? There's a bit of damage for both of you. There's another K. I'm going to keep Barak off this point. I feel like that might be a good plan. Oh, that missed by a little bit. There's a hit for you. She's very low. Let's F backwards and run away a little bit from this Leanne. She's ulting. I actually dodged that even though I was blind. I did hit her also with the freaking arrow even though it didn't deal damage. I traded. Ceres, please finish off that Leanne. She's so low. Ceres is having a bit of trouble. She's going for the ult. Nice. That might get the kill. Ceres, how did you butcher that? I have no idea what this Ceres is doing. I'm running straight out. I don't have time to go in the shop and buy stuff. I was too busy seeing what the hell was going on during that play. Freaking Ying and Barak are both out though. Strix seems to be running on the point. I'm actually going to get this with like no overtime. Well, it triggered overtime, but it is GG. Let's get a kill on this Leanne. I've missed so many shots on the Leanne this game, but there we go. Overtime is finished with the win, which I feel like we definitely deserve. Strix's corpse is just there, kind of dead on the point. What a great game, though. Honestly, wasn't expecting to have great matches today with Charlene and stuff because I usually have quite a bit of a rough time. No idea what's going on with the size of Nando there. A little bit odd, but that match was great. Nando has top play. He goes ahead and cues uh, the Drogos. He also 
gets rid of the Ying somehow. Okay, and then he gets rid of the Barrack as well, I'm guessing. Nice, that was a triple kill. I think that was the last play. I think that was the last play when I was trying to deal with the, the Lian. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And there you go, there are the stats for game one. We don't have top damage, we actually have third top damage, but given the situation, I'm actually happy with that because we did have double tank with double healer, so they are definitely going to have more damage than our side. Saying that though, the healing stats are kind of interesting as well. This is just in general an interesting stats page. So Ceres had a bit of a rough time. I was feeling that during the game. She was going for damage Ceres, but it didn't seem like she was very comfortable going for damage Ceres and stuff. She went 3, 9, 14. An okay amount of damage, but it's actually the lowest that game other than Damba and Ying. So that, I guess, says something. She also only healed for 50k. A bit of a strange stat there with Ceres. Snado did okay. She did very, very similarly to the Barrack, although with a lot less shielding. Both of these guys did fine as tanks. Damba was a great healer there. Shoutouts to him. Freaking 224k. Considering Ying has 211k, I kind of expected Damba to have maybe a little bit more, judging him off of like the Ying. But, you know, 224k isn't bad. I don't think anybody could really say it's bad there. Ying also has a great stat. Barak did pretty good. I would have expected him to have more shielding compared to our Barak, but apparently not. Drogos did okay. Lian was a pain in the ass. 167k. Highest damage. She did well. She was the only person. She was the only person I had trouble actually landing shots on. Everybody else was really, really quite easy. Strix did fine as well. 135k. Pretty close game, to be honest, especially judging by the stats there. It seems quite even. Because even though we are lacking less damage, it's obviously because of the double tank setup. Don't know if I'd say I was the best player that match. Not that that really even matters, but I feel like I did well considering it was Charlin and also the fact that I haven't played Charlin in like a month. I think the last time I played Charlin was literally the last time I made a Charlin video, which was at least like three weeks ago. I don't know. I don't keep track of this sort of thing, but it's been a while since I played Charlin. We'll go ahead and queue for a TDM. I could leave it there, but I'm going to treat you guys to an extra match and we'll see how we do. This way I also get a chance to show off one of the other loadouts because I was kind of planning to show off all three. If I can just show off two, that's good enough for me. They do have literally the same cards. The only one that changes is the first card to the left. On the one we just used, it's reducing the cooldown of the Impaler Arrow. I think it's the name of the ability. Jesus Christ, my memory's bad. Uh, the other one has Poise, which reduces the movement penalty you get when you're actually drawing your bow. It feels quite fluid, although you're sacrificing the other things, obviously. And then the last one is the one that reduces the cooldown on the F. So you basically choose between three things. Do you want five seconds off of the F, three seconds off of the Impaler Arrow, or do you want to just get rid of the movement speed debuff? And then the other four cards on the loadouts are the same. It's just a movement speed buff, tiny little buff to base health of like 50, and then reset on the F when you get low health. And I think it's also general cooldown reset on elimination. So it's a pretty standard loadout, just that nimble two thrown in there is really, really nice. Shoutouts to Mini Prime. I don't know what happened to Maximum Prime, but Mini Prime is, is here. We've got Snowfall Junction as the map. We've got a Damba, a Maeve, and a Khan, as well as, I'm guessing, an Andro. We'll see. Three, two, one, an Andro, and we're up against, and we're up against an Andro, Furia, Victor, Drogos, and Nando. So tanks on both sides, as well as support characters on both sides. Is this TDM? What's going on? Why do we both have, like, pretty serious team comps? What's going on? Don't usually bother pointing stuff out on that screen, but their Drogos was level 253. Should we go for Desert Shadow this time? Let's go for, let's go for Desert Shadow. We'll go for the one based around the F. We went for the one around the right click last time. I could go for the one based around his left click, but I, I reckon we should do right click and F, because those two are abilities. We'll also go ahead and grab... Uh, some quarter rays, and we'll just go ahead and push ourselves over this way. Load up the shot, see if we can get a little bit of damage straight off the bat. Throw over a shot, never mind. Throw over another shot, there we go, a K, I'll take that. Okay, he just hit me for a K as well. Fair trade, freaking Maeve just got mauled. Let's F round, we'll go with this Andrew, see if we can get somebody. Oh, there Andrew had the same idea. Reversed the reversal, the freaking play that always happens every time there's two Andros. Let's get rid of the Furia, nice. I actually walked into that stand, I thought I was just on the edge of it. There is the shot, he is gone. Never mind, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, there we go. I went into the plant, didn't die for it, but I just wanted to make sure I got rid of that goddamn Andro. Considering I don't play that much Charlin, I feel pretty accurate with him, to be honest. I'm very low health here. I'm probably dead. There we go. We hit him with a K and stunned him. Nice. Hello, Drogos. There's a K for you. There is nothing, because reversal. There's an F shot into the planted. Can we get rid of him? That's a shield. I don't know why I'm still firing into it. I can't do anything about it. There's a hit for Furia. Never mind, I missed. Oh, I missed that one too. I thought I could have killed him there. There's a K. Sick. There's a K as well. We'll F upwards and then KU. 1.25K and get rid of him. There's a stun. I really wish it could stun into the ground. That would be sick, because then he'd be kind of like an upper sort of area character. Should we go ahead and use the all? Oh, okay. Thank God I didn't go on cooldown. It made the sound. I got stunned. And again, the same thing that happened in the last game. It didn't actually go on cooldown. Thank God. Looking at the top, though, we are currently kind of getting bodied. Oh, Victor, you are gone. I kind of disrupted him there with the right click. That worked out surprisingly well. I'm on 560 health here. I don't know why I'm playing kind of ballsy. Let's play it safe for a little sec or two. There's another hit on Victor. He's very low. Oh, I thought I could finish him off. Let's F backwards a bit. Hit onto the Andro. I missed it. Can we hit him 
with a planted shot or two. Oh, he's going for the ult. If I had one more shot in my planted, I'd have saved myself there, but I used it a little bit too early. Definitely don't like this setup for Shaolin as much as I like the one based around his right click or the one based around his left click. I feel like this is probably the, the weakest one for him just because it's based around the F, which has like 10 seconds cooldown. And it also only gives you a 250 damage amp, whereas the other one, it does give you 300, but it does technically remove the stun. So wouldn't say that any of them are bad. I just think that this is my least favorite one in comparison to the others. Let's get a hit on him. Nice. We go for the ult. Yeah, sure. Let's go for the ult. There's a K. You're going to bring up your shield? No, you're just going to try and fight me. Do you even have your shield? Oh, you do. You just waited for it. Can I get rid of him still? Can I get rid of him? No, that didn't work. I'm totally dead because that is four of the enemy team. Why are they grouped? It's a TDM match. When do people ever group in TDM? Making a tiny bit of a recovery, but we're still behind by 10 kills. There's a hit on you, which I missed, but we can maybe still kill him. Oh my god, why are they grouped? I just killed the victor somehow, but why are they grouped? I don't understand. There is a miss. Don't know how the hell I missed that one, considering how close you were. That's Andra ulting. Wait, did that even make a sound? Am I going deaf? Uh, maybe I'm going deaf. I did not hear that Andra ult at all. There's nothing because I missed, and I missed again. Sick. Can I get one on him? There we go. There's a K. He's out. There's a K. There is a K. He actually stopped him for a second, and he's ulting for some reason. Can I finish him off here? Can I just get rid of him? There we go. Thank you, Damba, for the stun assist. Can we get a hit or two on the Furia? No, because my aim is trash. There's a stun, though. Still 10 kills behind, it seems like. We're not actually making much of a recovery here. We are keeping the pace, but we're not really pulling anything back. There's a K for you. There's a K again. I am so close to being dead, and I think I just died to Nando Fire. Stats are going to be interesting for this one. We'll go ahead and pull out the all. I'm going to just fire the shot on him. Finish him off. Nope, not going to be able to. There's a hit on Furia, though. There's nothing on Furia. There's nothing on Andro. Okay, let's F back. Can we get rid of this Andro? There we go. Nice. He's very, very low. Oh, I actually finished him off. I actually managed to thread that shot through. That didn't stun you. Okay, that one did. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Why did my right click go on my next shot instead of the one I tried to arm it for? Let's F. I don't have it up. Why am I trying to F? Let's throw a shot down to you. Nice. You did try and dash away. Oh, I landed one of those planted shots on it, too. That's Victor ulting. I'm just going to go this way. That missed because the aim jolted. Okay, this is rough. Can we finish off this Nando? Is he running left? Where's he going? I, I know what this Nando's plan is, but he's he's dead. Let's F into you. There we go. The stun. Oh, that was a smooth Charlin kill. That's the second one we've had that's smooth. Where is Andro? That's his shield. I don't know why I even have record. It's not going to help me very much. There's a shot. There's the dash. Can I get one more off before I'm dead? No, I can't because my aim is bad. Well, we're still 10 kills behind. I don't feel like I played that much worse than the first game. I feel like I did basically the same sort of thing. Let's go ahead and use the ult. Get rid of Nando. Nice. Get a K on her. Nice. Can I get a K up on you as well? No, you're going to drop down away you're going. There's 860. Sure. One last kill until the game is over. There's a thousand making my stats look good. I might die here. I don't want to be the last death. That's the thing. It's disgraceful to be the last death. I might die to this Nando though, so I'm going to run away. <laughs> I might be the last death. I don't know what's going on. This Nando is chasing me. Drogos is here too. I just missed a shot. I might die to Nando or am I okay? I'm burning. I'm on 100 health. I don't know where the hell they're spawning. We are eight kills behind. They're going to win this. They're one kill off. I think Drogos just ulted. Maybe we will recover this. Uh, no, let's get a hit on Victor. Never mind. There's a defeat. We did, we did bring it up a little bit, though. We are only like six or seven points behind, I think, at the end. Who's got top play? I don't think it's going to be us. I didn't really do anything that was really top play worthy today. I just kind of played average Charlene, but I didn't get any, like, triples or quadras because Charlene isn't really a great character for that anyway. But uh, Andrew has top play. I don't even really know what happened there, but he killed Charlene. He killed Maeve. I think he got an assist or two as well. Not really any crazy top play going on there, though. And there you go. There are the stats for game two. We actually had top damage in that one, which I'll happily take. 9, 8, 9, 71. K. Okay, feel like I did fine on Charlene. I surprisingly not too bad with him, honestly. I feel like I'm actually alright. Shoutouts to Dosto V Skew and Brevia. Shoutouts to the two of them. I'm guessing those were two people on the enemy team. Indeed, they were. Victor and also the Furia. If we go through the stats, uh, the Khan actually did okay. Uh, Damba did fine. Maeve did alright. Andro had a really rough time, though. 5 14 29k. That's a bit of a, a bit of a weird stat. Still a good match, though. Overall, I had fun, just like I did in the first one. Not as much fun, but still fun, nonetheless. Uh, Victor did fine on there. So did the Drogo. So did Nando. So did Andra. Andra actually on their side overperformed a little bit there. He actually has the best stat in that game. And then Fura did fine as well. I reckon if maybe Andra played a little bit better, we could have had that because it was quite a close game. But that was Charlene. Don't really have anything else I can add at the end here. I didn't play with the poise setup, but we did play uh, with Mirage and we also played with Quicksand. So I had two out of three. That's good enough. I think the last time I made a Charlene video, it was with this. So maybe it makes sense. Don't think I actually said it throughout the video, but these are all kind of designed to be played with a specific talent. This one, obviously, for Explosive Arrow. This one uh, for the one that buffs your F and this one for the one that buffs your actual draw speed, recurve. Why am I clicking advanced? Yeah, recurve, explosive arrows, and desert shadow. In order of, I think, preference for me, it's probably explosive arrows, recurve, then desert shadow, although these two are actually quite close together. Desert shadow is just quite a bit beneath that because it just doesn't feel anywhere near as strong given the way it works. I think for me, at least, the big thing that could 
do with like an update with Shaolin it isn't really his base kit. I think his base kit is actually not too bad. I feel like it's really his cards. It's not that he has bad cards, don't get me wrong. I think Wanderlust, Bullseye, Swagger, Shimmer, all decent cards. The other ones we've got in the loadouts, all fine. But as you can tell, there's only one card that changes per loadout, per talent. The other four are the same. But since they removed like the planted playstyle, I very rarely see any of his planted cards other than maybe the damage reduction one occasionally. You don't really see that many with Impaler Arrow other than Quicksand. I feel like you see the same like five or six cards in every single Shaolin loadout, which makes sense because they're the good cards, but he could definitely do with having some of his other ones pulled up a little bit and his talents probably changed Shaolin. a tad as well because I very rarely see Shaolin. <laughs> Personally, I'd really love him to be a popular character again because I find him to be a ton of fun to play against and also play with. He's just fun. I, I enjoy playing him. I enjoy having him on my team, but I understand completely why he's not a popular character at the moment and I think Evil Mojo probably does as well. I think most people understand it, so I hope that they do, but thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you all really, really soon. And as always, stay frosty.